Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Whether you just stumbled upon it right now or you're a returning viewer from back in the day when this channel used to be in Romanian, I welcome you. Today we shall be playing Crusader Kings 3. Now I know what you're thinking. This guy sounds very excited to be here and to be doing this. Trust me, I am. That's just my voice. If you don't like it, then I totally understand you. I don't either. But in any event, let's get on with some crusading. Um, we shall be playing as someone up here, up in northern Sweden and Finland. Um, I usually like to start out small as a count and kind of work my way up. So, with that in mind, there are a bunch of counts around here. Uh, there's also this duke here, who also happens to have a vassal. It looks like... Yeah, this guy starts with four counties already, but we start as a vassal. Uh, that might be interesting to try to break free from this guy and then do our own thing. Uh, my first goal for now would be to work towards creating the kingdom of Sapmi. Then I suppose Scandinavia, maybe reform my religion down the line. I don't know. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I'm... I played Crusader Kings 3 for a bit, but I never really got into the late game that much. So I'm more versed in uh, the early game, so to say. Uh, but even there I'm no expert, so if you guys have any tips or suggestions for me what I should make, what I should do, uh, feel free to leave a comment. But for now we i think we'll be playing as this dude the from the sarakid dynasty looks like he's greedy he's fickle and impatient not great traits to be starting with but we can probably work with that now i'm gonna enable iron man just so we can earn achievements hopefully it might be a very bad idea, considering this is a YouTube series. Going Iron Man and not being able to restore a save. But hey, if something goes wrong and we die and whatever, we'll just start a new series. Uh, yeah, that's a good name. Okay, and we instantly get a new heir. No specific traits or anything. Okay, well, at least it's a good thing we start with high stewardship because that means we can hold all four of our counties, which is good. But that also means that we can't really take any more as of right now. Uh, let's see, we already have two perks in Architect. Uh, not the best, not the worst, honestly. We could definitely try to focus on building up or trying to play tall a bit, I guess. Try to build up our counties. Uh, so, sure, we'll go... I think we'll go with a wealth focus for now. Since he already started down the path of architect, we can try to build some buildings. We'll, we'll go raiding as well, of course. Uh, there's some good loot to be had here. Looks like we have about 1k troops. What about our neighbors? 600, 700, or what about our liege, more importantly? How about 700? Okay, now can I just declare... I can declare an independence war. It's just gonna cost me some prestige, looks like. Uh, but before I do that, I think I'd like to build up some more men at, ar men at arms first. Looks like we already have, however the hell you pronounce that, 
is they're a special kind of bowmen, I guess, which are specific to our culture. Yes, we are in the Sami culture. Uh, let's take a look at this now while we're here, I guess. So we are communal. Okay, that helps us with our building tall strategy for now. Sami language, yes. We have winter soldiers. So we're more likely to have the winter soldier commander trait, which is pretty good considering the region we're in. Okay, we have adaptive skirmishers, so... Okay, so our archers and our skirmishers are better, while the heavy infantry and cavalry is weaker, so we should focus mostly on archers and skirmishers. And we also have forest wardens, which is also where we get those special man-at-arms. Looks like they're good in forests and taiga, and now if we take a look... Not sure. Yep, there's a terrain map mode. Okay, so we have mostly taiga around us and hills. So that's perfect, actually. Some plains over here. Okay, so taiga and hills mostly. And you guys are good in forest and taiga. Okay. What else can we get? What about our skirmishers? I think light fit men are skirmishers. Yes. Yep. And they're good in taiga. And jungle and forest. What was good in hells again? Okay, pikemen. Okay, well, we can have three men at arms, looks like. I think what I'll do, since these units deal a fuck ton of damage apparently compared to the normal bowmen, well, maybe just a little bit more, but still, I think I'll make another one of these and then some light footmen for now and now since we have a tribal government we don't actually pay gold for our army we pay with our prestige which is nice okay so we have our light footmen we shall make another one of these like i said and for now i think i'll just increase my light footmen by one I don't know, or maybe it's more worth it to do the special units since they have better stats all around. Eh, let's balance them a bit, because right now we have 300 of these and I'm gonna have 200 of those. And that kind of takes care of our prestige for now. Okay, looks like we're already married, I didn't even check that. Oh, but that's a problem. She is chaste. Which I suppose isn't a big problem right now because we already have an heir. But if he turns out to be useless, then we might want to replace him. So, let's see. Can we... Oh yeah, I can divorce her, apparently. It just costs us piety, which I do not have right now. Okay. Why am I losing piety? Oh, uh, because I'm fickle and it's a sin for our religion. Okay. Okay, well, that's one option. We can, of course, always try to murder her, even though that's not looking like it's gonna be very successful right now. But in any event let's take a look at our council as well for now uh looks like we can appoint our bishop i guess which is called the noyadi here so that's nice we can assign this dude he has a pretty high learning and you you have 13 diplomacy actually and you have zero we have... Oh, but wait. We cannot have female diplomats, looks like. Ah, oh, yeah, so if I remember correctly, only the court chaplain and... Yeah, and... Our spymaster can be females as well. Otherwise, it's only males by the looks of it. So, okay, I'll just replace you with this guy for now. 
and I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Then for our steward, our steward is actually better in intrigue than what we have right now. Uh, okay, let's see how do we do this. We don't really have any good option for a spy master. I think I'll put her as my spy master for now. Uh, is that a good call? Let's see. Let me think about this. It's always like playing Tetris at the beginning of the game, I swear. Well, tell you what. We already know who's gonna be our marshal, because this dude is fucking amazing. Uh, our diplomats kinda lack, or are lacking, so to speak. Hmm. You have eight stewardship, you have seven. And you... Well, since you can't really be anything else because you're a woman, then I guess you can be our spy master for now. As for our steward, uh, I guess we can swap you around. You have a bit more steward ship. And for our chancellor, it's a really sad story. I guess we will appoint this guy for now, but we will have to look for a better diplomat. Uh, it looks like I'm already the steward on my Legis Council, which gives us some nice benefits actually. And it also makes it easier if we wanted to say murder him maybe, well... Okay, apparently not that much. It does give us a plus 15, but our chances are still very slim. So our best bet would still probably be war. We just have to hope that he doesn't make any good alliances. I could just declare the war now, I suppose, but I kind of want to wait for my military to get full. And I also want to make some alliances of my own. Which I can only really make one right now, because I only have one son that I could marry off. So let's see, could ally with these guys. I'm not gonna worry too much about uh, choosing a good wife for my son, even though he's my heir. Right now I just want some alliances. Uh, where are you guys? Okay, you're very far away. Uh, these guys are right next to me. Which might not be a bad idea. They have 757. These guys have 1k. But considering these guys are right next to me, I think I'm gonna go with this one right now. And that should help us in case for some reason we can't deal with this guy even though we should be able to uh let's see what else we have here uh i can claim my legis title right that's also a thing but it costs a lot of prestige which i do not have so i don't think we will go down that route i think what this means though so let's think about this we'll have an independence war then he will s we will gain our independence but he will still be here and he will still be a duke so the title will still exist and he will hold it so then i would have to do another war against him probably and after that i think i would also have to create the title again because it would get destroyed if i'm not mistaken but i could be very wrong uh, looks like we don't have any good options for an, for a court physician right now. Um, we could try... No, not a court tutor. A seneschal would be good, but only after we get some more lands. 
The personal champion is always good. It just gives you passive prestige. Uh, and it looks like we have a good choice here. So let's do that. What about our champions? Okay. Eh, it's kind of bad. What about you? You have 10. Can we recruit you? That's only 3 gold. Honestly, you know what? Here you go. You can now be a champion and probably even actually a spy master. Since you are marginally better than her. So there we go. I should also try to improve the relations with my spy master so he doesn't decide to do anything stupid. Uh, right, I should have done my court chap. Uh, is that what you call it? Court court chaplain? I think that's how you call it. Well, our Noyadi, anyway. I should have improved the relations with him first because he doesn't endorse us at the moment. But uh, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm going to switch over our marshal to train commanders since I think our men-at-arms are going to be very important. Uh, you can collect taxes for now. That's fine. And yeah, I think... Oh, hello there. Actually... Wait, did I read that wrong? It said that we are first in line of succession for the duchy here. But this dude has, a, has an heir already. So we are second in line. And it doesn't show up here anymore, so maybe it was just a mistake, I don't know. What about decisions? Uh, we can definitely call a hunt, it will give us more prestige, and I think I will do that. Uh, sure, notify me. Also, while we wait, well, is that a good idea? I wanted to go raiding for a bit before we declare our independence, but I think we should just keep our men for the war. I'm gonna move my rally point next to him here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and we finally unpaused. We made our alliance, which is all well and good. Uh, let's keep an eye on him to see if he gets any alliances. Okay, hunt. You would think it a creature from myth, perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It was the largest stag I have ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. It is still an imposing sight lying dead before me. Okay, so I can get some gold, that's very nice. Or I can just make my wife like me more, but we don't really care about our wife. <laughs> because she's chaste, so we will take the money. And I think that gives us... Oh, I was still on pause. This gives us enough money to... Oh, never mind. That's right, being tribal means our buildings also cost prestige, not just gold. So we can't build anything yet, but we will soon enough. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the taiga behind as the servants prepare the stag and other game for the journey back. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. Okay, well there you go, that's our prestige. <laughs> so... Now we can build something. I usually like to go with uh, more taxes, because that in turn lets us build even more buildings. Oh, and look at that. Our wife inspires recruitment. Well, that's very good, actually. Maybe she is good at something after all. Anyways, let's take a look at our religion. We haven't done that yet. So, we are unreformed. Yep. Uh, we have communal identity, which is alright, I guess. Ancestor worship. That's okay. Sanctity of nature. Well, that's 
good and bad. It's good for military, obviously, but kind of bad because it makes all our buildings cost more. Which kind of goes against what I said we would do. We are theocratic, righteous. Okay, we can have, we can have concubines. We can have cousin marriages, that's always nice. It's a good thing that divorce is allowed because it lets us get out of situations like this. Okay. What about our holy sites? So one of them is here, 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 and here. Okay, and it's not the worst. Oh wait, there's one here as well. Okay. At least they're not that far away. I think it would be doable to get them at some point. Let's unpause again. Actually, I think I am gonna change over to swing my Noyadi first. Okay, my liege passed limited tribal authority. That's okay. We won't care about that very shortly anyway. Okay, our forces are almost, almost up there. Another thing I could do to kind of cheese the system, because I don't want to really, where is it, invite champions because it costs a lot of prestige. We can always take a look in our court and look for females. We only have three at the moment. But we can just pick a random courtier and try to find her a spouse that uh, we don't care if they're fertile or not. We can search for prowess. And we have this dude, for example, who is has 13 prowess. Um, maybe we can't find a lot of options here because she has a bad physical trade. Let's try with her, maybe. Uh, not arrange marriage, find spouse. And all sort by prowess. No, it looks like that's the best we can get. Uh, this guy also has reaver. Oh, this guy is a winter soldier. Sure, we can get this guy, I think. Can we make it matrilineal? Sure. Doesn't really matter anyway, since she's just a courtier, but... What the hell? There you go. So now we should find our new guy here. Can do that to make it update. We also have a new guy here who has... 10, how much do you cost? You cost 7, are you worth it? For 10 prowess, let's see, you would, you would replace our 6 prowess guy, who's also our chancellor. Eh, you know what, for 7 gold, that's fine, I think. You also have a few traits there, so... There you go. I think I'll wait one more month and then we will declare our war. That's close enough. Okay, we still have a lot more troops than he does. Let us declare war. All right. I forgot about this. It costs us 250 prestige to declare our war. I mean, we can still do it. It would just give us... And a penalty to our level of fame and we will become disgraced basically which will actually make us have one less knight which is interesting but uh, I don't think it would be the end of the world if we do it honestly uh, let's think for a sec is there any way we can make some more prestige quickly right now um, can host a feast. I'm not. I don't remember exactly if it gives us prestige, but it might. I think it does. Let Let's try it. It only costs twenty five. Let's see. 
the feast begins. In awe. Well, I am talking to people over dinner. Chiftes Alet, which is my wife, okay, leans over. I wish I knew how to sound as clever as you do. Uh, I guess that's my name. I wipe the soup off my chin and smile an intelligent looking smile. Well, there you go, 75 prestige. Thank you very much, we just need like 80 more. Uh, let's just quickly look, okay, can get 75 more. As plate after plate of food is brought into the great hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me and I smile. That my poised Noyadi Ordot is sensitive to Korean, there is something I sadly forgot to tell the cook. I bid you all welcome and I pray you will find the food to your liking. Especially you, Ordot. <laughs> okay, so she can get a severe health penalty for seven years. Uh, there's not really a reason why I would want to do that. So I will obviously get the prestige. And we also gain a hook on them, which is nice. Wait, I gained the hook on them, right? Not the other way around. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we literally need just seven more prestige. And we will avoid getting disgraced. Okay. Oh, there we go. Gain, gain prestige even as the feast ends, which is amazing. It looks like our friend here is going to raid, which is fine by me. I'm actually gonna declare war on him right this instant while he still doesn't have any allies. Uh, we're no longer getting disgraced, so there we go. We shall raise all troops here. Let's see. Oh wow, this dude is a very good commander. Okay, let us see if we can catch them. Oh. Oh, I guess his army got smaller because I'm technically not his vessel anymore, so... Oh yeah, and my army got bigger. I forgot that's how that works. That's actually even better. So, we will most definitely win this. Let's see if we can catch them, actually, before sieging. Maybe we can capture him and uh, finish the war just like that. Our champion was maimed, that's not a good start. Okay, we did not capture anyone, but that's okay, we will just siege. What's this? You can call your ally. Yeah, I don't really need that. He's also sieging my capital, but I should be able to finish it before him. Or actually not. Which is very weird, because we started it before him. Or maybe I will actually, never mind. I'm just high. Yeah, we will definitely get it before him. There we go. Oh, and I even took him hostage. How about that? Actually... Hold on a minute. Ah, uh, damn it. Says I captured him and his wife, but I did not capture his son. I could just execute him. And I won't even be seen as a tyrant. But what would that do? Not entirely sure. Because his heir is gonna take over. But will we still be at war if I do that? That's an interesting situation we're in. Hmm. 
You know what? I'm gonna try it just to see what happens. And we will know for the future. I suppose we're just gonna spend 25 piety. That's fine. Okay. So I have a new leash. Okay. Looks like his primary heir is now his mother, which makes sense. So we're still in the war. I still have a 100% war score. So that didn't exactly achieve anything. I was kind of hoping I would inherit his duchy title somehow. I mean, I could kill this kid's mom now as well. And he would have basically no other heir left than me. But then we would have to kill him somehow. I can't take him prisoner because we already sieged down their province here. So, is there any way I could murder this kid? I know things that only Crusader Kings would make you say. Unfortunately, <laughs> but unfortunately for us, I don't really see a way to do it. So honestly, I think I'm just gonna end the war. I'm gonna gain my independence, and then we will just take this land again in the next war. But before I do that, I think I will. I might as well ransom his mom back because I will still have a 100% war score even if I do that and I just get some free money the only thing is that they might finish the siege here before all that before the transaction goes through but we can manage that that's fine so let's do that oh it actually even happened before they took it so that's even better so let's enforce our demands. We are now independent. We can disband our army. Okay. So. Let us see. Now we have a truce for five years. Okay. So yeah, he's still a duke. I'm, let's see what duchy, duchy? <laughs> duchy titles are here. So there's this one, and then there's this one, which I only hold one county of. So I could... This guy holds two. I could go to war with this dude, so I could work my way up this duchy and create that title. And I see no reason why to not do it, honestly. He doesn't have any allies. So, let's do it. Um, no, no, that's not what I need to do. I'm gonna move the rally point here. I'm gonna go over here and be like, hello. And I will conquer this one so we don't do any border gore. Uh, we will be one over our domain limit, but it should be fine. We can probably even put our wife to on a stewardship focus and that will help us it costs us 25 piety because he is the same religion as we are uh, yeah we don't generate any piety here but I think that's okay for now let's just do this let us raise our armies let me have my brilliant general or commander we're gonna easily win this battle. Our, another champion was wounded. Our trading post was completed. Okay. Uh, we'll just sit here and siege, I think. If we're lucky, we can capture some valuable hostages and... Uh, oh no, we got useless senses. We get garrison size and holding taxes in where? Where is this one? Ah, oh, this one. 
Well, that sucks, but what can you do? We have a better diplomat, well, kinda. I suppose you can be our diplomat as well. Anything's better than that dude, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, not really any other options we have. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to swing this dude now because we are already endorsed. Well, apparently it didn't really even matter because we get zero out of that, but oh well. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna sway our spy master now so we can have good relation with him. Apparently I can usurp this high chiefdom. What would that mean? Oh, I just need 250 gold apparently. Okay, well, that's way easier to do then than having to wait the whole five years for the truce so i think hmm, what do i do here i think after this war i will just go raiding for a bit and see if we can uh, scrounge up the money to do that The other option would be to continue forward and attack these guys next. Even though they're already in a war. Who are they? Wait, did they attack the same guys as we have? Yep. And it looks like it's for the exact same province that we declared for. Oh, that's nice. So, I guess it doesn't really matter, then. Uh, yeah, so what I was gonna say is that we can either uh, get enough money to usurp his title, or we continue to attack these guys so we can instead create this duchy for ourselves, but that would also require us to have, well, admittedly less gold. We can actually probably do it right away after we get those provinces uh, that doesn't mean we can't do both it's just a matter of what should we do first okay well we got that i think i'm gonna try to catch these guys and oh our wife is actually pregnant even though she is chased. Well, miracles do happen. I think if we win this battle, it should push us at 100% for score. Familiar reputation. Okay, I think that's my heir. Yep, gained some opinion of us. That's fine. Okay, let's see. Oh, we are now the culture head of Sami. Well, that's actually great. So what that means is that we can now change which innovation we are focusing on. Uh, all right, we can do all things because why? It's because of the region we're playing in, but I'm not sure if it's just related to our culture or... I suppose, yeah. Anyway, I think uh, if we want to adopt feudal ways... Uh, let's see here. We need absolute, yeah, organized faith, level of fame. Yeah, so we need 70% of all military and civic tribal era innovations so these two down here don't actually come to that that's where i was going with that so 70 percent what does that mean how many are there here that's six that's 12 it's 14 what's 70 percent of 14 so i think that's around 10 innovations i think 
Right now we have plenary assemblies and mustering rounds. And we are focusing on city planning right now. And we are also getting Gavelkind uh, as an exposure. Uh, well, the problem is that our learning sucks. So I think what we'll do, depending on the position that we end up in at the end of our current character's life, I think I will groom my next uh, son to focus on learning and uh, learning lifestyle so we can actually influence this a lot more. And we also need to focus a bit on developing our capital and of course organizing our faith which is gonna be a bit more complicated. But yeah, what sh is, I, am I okay with this one? You can build village center. Um, crop rotation. I think I might go with that one actually. Because it unlocks economic buildings, which is something that I like and I want. Yeah, let's let's switch over to that for now, even though it doesn't really matter right now because of our poor learning. But yeah. Anyway, so we won that battle. Uh we can ransom someone apparently. Do you count towards the war score? It doesn't look like it. No, 0% war score from prisoners, so we can safely ransom you for 25. We shall wait for that to go through, there we go, and now we can enforce our demands. Okay, so now we are over our domain limit, but let's take a look. If we change our wife to manage domain, yep, we are fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disband our armies and I'm gonna keep going. Oh, actually... We're already at war with these guys now, because... Huh. Okay, I didn't know that's how that worked, actually, which... I'm not sure if that's a bad thing. So, these guys declared war on the same guys that we did for the exact same province, and because we took the province, now we're in a war against them, defending, because they still want this province. That's all fine and dandy, but the problem is now that after we defeat them, I think we're gonna have a truce with them, so we won't be able to get their province anymore, and we will have to put uh, our goal of forming this duchy on hold for now. But maybe that's not entirely how it works. Uh, we shall see soon. In any event, I'm gonna switch over our marshal to increase control here, because that's important. Uh, we should... Oh my god, this is actually very bad. Because I disbanded my army while I was still in a war. Um... Without realizing that we're still in a war, now it's actually very... It's gonna be very difficult for me to raise them again. I'm gonna try to do it as far away from them as possible. So I'm gonna do it here. Uh, okay, we have a stewardship perk. Uh, we could definitely do that. That one sounds nice. Uh, that one is also very nice. Honestly, I think I'm gonna get this one for now, maybe even uh, this one later down the line, and then continue down the architect path, especially for this one, because this is also very good. Um, and this, but yeah, I think I'll get this for now, and I think we already have a hook on this dude. Uh, which is our Nayadi, but that's fine. Can okay, we can demand payment from him, but he doesn't actually have enough gold, so 
we can't do that for him, but it's a nice thing to be able to do. Our army takes ages to organize up again, but we shall be fine. Let's get our badass commander in there. I can call my ally, that won't be necessary. Okay, let's see. This is about our heir. Just like other children his age, my son and heir sometimes lies and tests boundaries. However, he often avoids suspicion with his sweet demeanor and people always forgive him when he does get caught. I wonder just how much he gets away with. Okay, so get, he gets charming as a trait. Which is... Okay, I suppose it doesn't really go well with the plan I had to go with uh, learning but I think diplomacy would also be okay and who knows maybe we'll have a better air than the one and we will change it around okay so we defeated you posers let's see your capital what's in a name uh, what's this about Who's this? Oh. Of course, she was pregnant. We just got a new daughter. And she wants to name it after herself. I mean, sure, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Get some more opinion with her. Um, looks like we captured someone in that fight which we cannot ransom so uh, actually let's look at his stats he is average just average nothing to write home about okay we got someone else um you will also not accept and I should have also looked at his stats and I also forgot he is trash the reason I'm looking is because we could maybe potentially hire or like recruit some of those people in our own court but don't really have a lot of options there Okay, well, we already grew quite a bit. Uh, we're, we've basically been constantly at war since we started. Haven't even had time to raid. Okay, there we go. We can enforce our demands. And there we go. We got some gold, some prestige. Amazing. Now, let's see. So, they have a truce with me, but do I have a truce with them? I know it's weird, but sometimes it works like that. Yeah, see? We don't actually have a truce with them. So, actually, what I could do is just declare war on you. Right now, again. It's gonna cost me piety that I don't have. And it's gonna make me a sinner. Which, honestly, I don't really care about. We won't be making any piety anytime soon, at least not with this character. So, as far as I'm concerned, I can be a sinner. That's fine by me. Okay, we can move our little flag here. We should probably add another one, but oh well. Our... Wait, where's our good commander? What happened to him? Or is it? Uh, I think he's not as good anymore right now because it's all winter. If I understand that correctly. But in any case, I think... Uh, you're still gonna be good enough. Oh, there we go. Now he's 25. So I think it just became winter because it was October.
How's my swing going? 67, that's good. Oh, they actually got some mercenaries. Right? Those are mercenaries. Yep. Huh, that's funny. He's still gonna lose though. Wait, did he actually get an ally as well? No. Then what the hell is this? Why are you guys hostile towards me? Actually, it looks like they attacked our guys again as well. So <laughs> after we win this war, I think we're going to have to defend against these guys again. Same thing that happened earlier, which is a bit annoying, but... Oh, well, that was easy. We just captured the count. So there we go. Oh. And uh, now there was no war, actually. Huh, that's weird. Why did it why did it not happen now, but it happened before? I don't understand that fully. But like I said, I'm no expert at this game. If you guys know what's going on, please let me know. Or if there is a way that I can tell why that happened. I don't know. But in any event, now we can actually create this duchy because it only costs us 125 gold and it's gonna give us prestige, which is good. Can do that. And then, so now we're now a duke, which is amazing. Now, we could use the money we have left to build some more buildings or we can save up some money in order to usurp this guy's title which i think is what i'm going to go for yeah let's see can we get a quick position no nope. they're all poor and terrible Maybe, maybe, just maybe, this is a bit of a hack, or like not necessarily a hack, it's just very tedious, but I will try it nonetheless. So these are all our women in our court, not a lot, but let's try, wait, you have a husband already. Okay, that's not gonna work then. because our only other choice is our daughter which i mean i suppose it could work but i would prefer to use you as a like alliance father if you understand what i mean but just to satisfy my curiosity let's see if um rates no how do you uh, um Medic? Is it, no. What, what? What was that trait called? Physician. There you go. So if you look for physician, let's see. Novice physician. And a renowned physician. Let's see if we can find anyone with these traits, but it actually doesn't look like it. Yeah. Oh well, it doesn't matter then. Oh, we got an achievement, but I already had that achievement. Every time you start a new campaign, they show up like even the achievements that you already got before. And uh, right, I just realized that we took this new province, which is all well and dandy, but we are now at six out of five holdings. But that's okay, because now we are a duke. And that means that I can actually give away these two provinces 
they have zero control and they are pretty much useless to me right now so they can be controlled by a vassal for all I care and I'm gonna give away two uh, because then I can move my wife back from Manage the Wing to a Cist Ruler and we will be back to four out of four and just a tip for you guys um, when you give away land try to give away land that's um, that's not part of your primary title I suppose so right now I'm gonna give away these two lands up here because they're part of this duchy right now I only have this duchy but I'm also gonna get this one soon enough and I'm gonna make this one as my primary title and I'm gonna try to own all of the counties in here or at least as many as possible and that should um, ensure that our economy stays strong and we have resources and all that good stuff so right let's look at our court um, just male because I'm not sure if females can have titles here Wait, can they? Let me just check actually. Um, right, I don't see any female here. Well, anyway. We should, uh, if we're gonna make a vassal, we should look for someone that's maybe already on the council or that has good stats because they're gonna want a position on the council anyway. So I think I'm gonna make this dude my vassal because he's a very good marshal and he can stay on my council uh let's see let's see what am i looking for grant titles here we go this and this can be yours there we go now he is my vassal and i can move my wife again to assist ruler there we go And actually, he's not on increased control anymore, but even though I gave these provinces to him, I can still assign him to increased control because, well, if my vassals don't make any money, then they can't pay me any money in return, so there's no point. Okay, so now that all that's done, what I want to do now is actually go raiding for a bit, but I have a suspicion, and it looks like I'm right, that everything around us has already been looted. I don't think I can raid these guys because we're allied with them. Can't do here. Uh, I can raid this guy, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, maybe down here. Nope. They have been raided already. If you can't tell where I'm looking, it's here. It says loot zero. Uh, let's see, up here. No, this guy isn't looted. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of loot here. No, zero. So you have one here. One down here. Uh, I'm not sure. I could try looting these guys, but... I know they're a bit strong in the beginning, but yeah, yeah, I think I'll try looting them as well. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, I'm gonna add a new rally point here, because why not? I'm gonna raise them all here and make them start raiding. And let's see, I don't have anyone that's good at raiding in particular, so that's gonna be fine. What's this about? You can hire a core physician. Yep, yep, I know. Okay, we can already queue up our movement because the army won't actually start moving until after they finish the raid there. So now we have 15 loot. They're gonna drop it off when they cross the border. Okay, let's see, the voice of reason. Another council meeting, another conflict. Noyadi, Ordot, and High Chiefess Alet are arguing violently about the upcoming building projects. I wasn't aware we had any building projects queued up, but... Oh well. 
As High Chieftain, I could silence them with a single word, but I have a better idea. My diplomatic pursuits have given me insight on how to handle situations like these to please everyone. Can I, though? Okay, so it's a diplomacy challenge. Um, so, there's basically... 13% chance of getting hooks on them. <laughs> you know what? Well, one thing we can do before we click that button is to make my wife focus on court politics. That gives us a bit more of a chance here. Not much, but... Okay, yeah, let's try. Oh, we got the worst possible ending oh well anyway uh, actually since you're not endorsing me anymore even though it doesn't really matter just gonna sway you a bit till you're above zero then we're gonna raid these guys up here And yeah, then I'm not really sure how we're gonna get the rest of the money we need. Uh, I can call a hunt again, but that costs money, which I do not want to spend right now. Yep, I know. Right, we can go here next. Oh, actually we captured someone that's... Ah, really? It's only gonna be for a weak hook. Wait, I actually... <laughs> I actually captured the Count him himself. And I can only ransom him for a hook. Or for a... yeah. Well, actually... Wow, he has minus 18 gold, really. I was gonna say that this could actually be good for us because we can, uh, how do you call it, we can uh, demand payment from him, but if he doesn't have any money then it doesn't really matter. done there huh, I can purchase a truce with him okay we can get a new perk um, I'm not gonna get this one yet I'm gonna go ahead and get the cutting corners corner corner stones there we go then let's finish up this raid as well. They're gonna come attacking us, but hopefully we will be able to hold them. Because that I will probably lose. Which is not a good sign. Oh no, our champion got killed. Which was also a personal champion and I think he was also on our council yeah he was our steward well I suppose you can take his place then but yeah it looks like we're gonna lose which sucks it sucks because we we also lost the loot that we got from these guys up here so we lost 30 gold which yeah that's my bad uh, we got an offer of a concubine. Um, let's see here. Ah, it's not amazing. No, I think I think I'll kindly decline that. Uh, I can't right. I can't divorce her because I don't have piety. So that's probably never gonna happen at this point. 
could try murdering her, but I think that's too big of a hassle. I think we're just gonna have to do with this for now. And actually... Huh, I never actually got a guardian for my heir, which sucks. That was my fault. Uh, we need someone that's a good diplomat, which we kind of lack around here. So... Yeah, I, I suppose you can educate him. Uh, I think there was like... Uh, oh yeah, we also have more uh, court positions available now because we are a duke. But let's take a look at this first. Uh, Chief Tamagi will travel through Pied. If you orchestrate an ambush in Caltrum, I'll reward you generously. If you accept my offer, you'll get half the money now and you are in return with Chief Tamagi. Should I in the fray, I will shed no tears, but I will not pay for his corpse. I trust that the words on this parchment will stay between us. Okay, this is interesting. This is the first time I see this kind of thing. So who are you again? Uh, oh, you're the dude that I just released from my prison. And you want me to capture this dude, who's your vassal. Okay. He said he's gonna travel through Pipe, which is here. <laughs> okay, so... I have a 55% chance of capturing him or imprisoning him. And I get 75 gold for it. Uh, I'll pretend to accept, but I'll warn him. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So I could go behind his back and still get paid. Which I honestly don't really care about you that much. So this basically has a higher percentage of us getting the money. Unless I think. I don't know, it's it's weird because it says here on the top that he's going to pay me 75, but then down here it says there's a 55% chance that he's going to pay me 75, which, I don't know, I'm guessing it's only if this 55% succeeds. But down here, however, it says that I get 75 either way. The only chance I get here is if he discovers that I went behind his back or not. Which sounds better to me, in my opinion. I'm also gonna put my wife to support court intrigue to boost this up to 90%. And let's give it a go. Okay, I got a weak hook on him. Gain weak hook. Yep, yep, yep. I know my rhythm. Okay, so did I get the money? I actually didn't pay attention. I didn't see how much money I had before that. Or am I going to... Or is the event not finished yet, so to speak? I'm gonna disband these guys. And I'm actually... Well, no, never mind. I was gonna say... I'm gonna move my marshal from train commanders to organize army, but he's increasing control right now, actually. Uh, I have another offer for a concubine. Um, she is also very not interesting, so I shall decline. Alright, we also have too few champions, but more importantly, we now have enough money to usurp this title. So there we go, we'll gain 300 prestige. And now we hold two duchies. There we go. Um, I'm gonna make this one my primary one, like I said. So now we have that flag, which I like more. 
And now this dude is, well, this girl, I should say, is just a little one province minor count. Which, uh, let's see, so she has a truce with me. And I also have a truce with her, but it ends in eight months, actually, so... We can definitely get that under our belt as well. Very soon. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly what happened with that event. I'm gonna have to look back on the recording and see if uh, I actually got that money or not. Alright, looks like the truce is gonna end in four months. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna leave off this episode right here for now. Uh, tell me what you thought. If you like this uh, series, this campaign, uh, if you have any tips, anything really. I would like to hear from you in the comment section and maybe leave a like or a dislike, subscribe, all the usual YouTube bullshittery, but it really helps. So yeah, see you in the next video.